What's going on, Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. If anyone saw my last video, the title thumbnail says no more roster reviews. Everyone out there is doing roster reviews, too much criticizing going on. Uh, Capital Games has broken Grand Arena. So for me to look at your roster and just tell you, come on, do this, do that, you need this, you need that. I'm just tired of doing it. You know, I have a lot of great people that are following my channel that are coming up through the ranks. Nobody is prepared. Nobody. There's not enough time to build enough Galactic Legends. It's all about the GLs nowadays. You can face people that you have no business facing that are not your true peer. So it just makes it so hard to go through a roster review and just see what you've done and just tell you it's not enough. You know, let's just slow it down a bit. Let's just have some fun and go through your roster and just respect the grind. That's what I'm calling it. I'm gonna call it Respect the Grind. Questions with Darth Kimshi. You know you wanna be on the show. Definitely make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. The link to my amazing Discord is always in the description. You get in there, you check in with Emortal. He is the list master. So of course, I just wanna have fun and just go through your rosters and respect the grind. Now of course, the link to my Discord is always, always in the link to description. This place is full of great people from all over the world helping each other out. You need help in Grand Arena. You need help with just early game stuff. You need to find a new guild. Anything you need. Conquest chat. We have a training room for it's only one person at a time. You can at whole divisions. This is what the Discord's for. You know, people are not waiting a whole year on my roster review list to be told what to do. You already know that. So let's just have some fun. You guys know that I post questions that are in my Discord. I wanna change them up. You know, if you were on TV and I was looking at your roster, what questions would you want me to go over with looking through your roster? So of course guys, to me, question number one is, explain your in-game name. So you guys know, I'm Darth Kimchi. I like Darth Vader. And I love me some kimchi. I'm half Korean, so Darth Kimchi. I love the really funny names. So he said, he was kind of random. He was thinking of Jek 14, J-E-K like kite. 14, which was a Star Wars Lego character. I have no idea. But he just made it Jet 14. Since he needed something, and kind of just stuck with it. I know him as Jet 14. I uh, won't forget that name. He used to watch a lot of my shows earlier on. All right, guys. So thanks for telling me that name. You're in a Rhodium 3. Great job, my friend. Keep climbing the ranks. So, of course, we always look at fleet first. We all know I hate fleet. I try to go through it as quick as I can. You're ranked number 110. Great job. I saw something about this with Arnold with the uh, Marauder with the Bad Batch. Nice, nice, nice. Top 50, you get crystals at least. Let's get in there and take a look. So my question number two is always, you know, explain your in-game grind for your fleet. Um, this is just a regular show. We're not doing a Discord call or anything like that. So I just like you to answer the questions. So he says that he is grinding for Executor. Very smart. You know, if you want to not have to put such a heavy defense town, like you guys know that I do because I have no fleet, got to build it. Executor, good job. Executor to me is like Darth Revan and Darth Malak. I, I, I just don't want to go for it. I never will go for it. But good job, buddy. Capital ships wise, and before we look at this, guys, I want to show you his review from two years ago. This is why I respect the grind. So I'll try to put the link to this video in the description. This was very different time. Michael Myers on the screen because it was during Halloween. It's, it's so funny that it's now Halloween in a couple of days. So Galactic Power, 2.2 million. Who you relic and who you did not relic was super important. The way I talked back then is totally different from now because Capital Games has changed Grand Arena. He's got an R7 Darth Vader. So definitely, let's take a look at the huge progression that he's made in two years. All right, let's go back to the wall. So I think it's time to put on some uh, some suspenseful music. It is Halloween. Let's do that. My free music sucks, guys. I wish I could buy better music. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I barely make 10 bucks a month. So got to go with this. 
All right. So good job with your fleet. You know, you got your Malevolence R7, uh, General Grievous. You got Negotiator R8, uh, General Kenobi. Those are a long grind. So it's just, you know, I forget about that sometimes. I think everyone does because everyone's rushing for GLs, getting all the fleets, getting all the new tunes. So respect that grind. Huge Sith bump. Malevolence Negotiator was a pain coming up. All right, got your Chimera, your Endurance, uh, Home 1, not Gear 12 Akbar, but nothing else like Executor, Leviathan, Profanity, nothing like that. Either do I, buddy. Your fleet's still better than mine. All right, regular ships-wise, so interesting that he said that uh, TIE Interceptor is his favorite ship. That's pretty cool, man. Let's go look at that TIE Interceptor. Where is it? Ah, it's only five stars. Okay, so it's viable at five stars. I do have an R7. Um, is that fifth brother? No, that's not fifth brother. That's a, a eighth brother, right? No, it's second sister. Ah, she looks so familiar like the other dude. All right, so second sister has that ship. I have her at least R5, I believe. So definitely, I'll use that ship at four, at five stars. Very nice. I almost have it to seven stars. I just don't even use it because I don't use fleet at all. Great job, man. Then I also want to know if you guys can do like the counter to executor. You know, you got to learn these counters. So he said that he can do, uh, he can one shot or two shot with Empire and Male Malevolence to take out executor. This is why I love the questions as well. He says that's one reason. Let's see what he says here. Uh, he loves the Interceptor. It's his favorite ship in the game. He's always beat Executor in GAC, either one shot or two shot with Empire and Malevolence. He says that's one reason why he stopped farming Vulture Droid because it dies faster. So Malevolence gets Terminator earlier. But I need to upgrade Heine Bomber. Okay, okay. Good job. Didn't even think about that. That's awesome, man. So, of course, Fleet, everyone's behind on. There's so much stuff we got to work on. Just keep on sitting, buddy. <laughs> All right, back to the regular roster. So I see you got Lord Vader. Good job, buddy. I'm going for Lord Vader right now. Let's get in there and take a look. All right, y'all. So the question number three, explain your in-game grind. So he's got 5.7 million galactic power. He's got two galactic legends. Great job. You know, I do so many reviews. It's kind of just what people only can build up. You know, two GLs, possibly three GLs. So he says that he's going for Sith Eternal, and after him and Executor, he's going to go for SLKR. Okay, great job. Try to get those GLs out early. Good job there, man. He says he bought the first order pack. Very nice. I couldn't afford any of those packs, even though I just did spend $20 on trying to get Drogan. All right. Uh, that was from the donations I got from like my great buddy Nemesis in my PayPal. So thank you guys so much. That helped me get closer to Drogan. I appreciate that, guys. All right. So good job with your um, getting your Galactic Legends and Executor. Great job there. You know, I will say that by the time you reach like high levels of Kyber 3, having four GLs would be great. Got to work on that core too as well though. All right. So he says that gas, I also want to know like, you know, what was your hardest grind in the game? He said gas was his first ever big farm. So it was really hard. He said, also getting Watt Tambor to seven stars for Jedi Master Kenobi was a pain. I remember those days, bro. I was stuck on six stars forever. Yes, I feel your pain, my friend. Respect the grind. All right, take a look at your gas. He says gas is one of his best modded tunes as well. He was a terrible grind for me as well because I was like, you know what? I ain't getting clones. Who's getting clones? Screw the clones. And then General Skywalker came out. I'm all things Anakin, so I had to get him as well. I did not hoard get one. I was stuck on a five star, then a six star, then a seven star forever. So mod wise, four offense, two defense. Great job. Let's take a look. Protection, 139,000. Very nice. You know, through uh, Datacron and proper secondary. You probably get that a little bit higher. He is R8. Mine's above 140 ish something. Speed, 226. That's a little slow for gas. You know, you usually want him in that 240 range, is like your medium. You know, if you use him for offense, people have him much faster. But for defense, he's a defensive chest piece for me. Critical damage, no triangle. You got a protection there, of course. Potency, tenacity. Damage right at 10,000 with my anxieties. I got to get that to 10,000. But he's looking decent, looking decent. Armor's really good. Take a look at some of the secondaries. So this one here, 
Offense percentage is always in the primary. You can't get in the secondary unless you get the flat. So very nice. 90, little thing of 95 offense. The protection, very nice. 9.52%. I'd be rolling this to infinity and beyond. Because you could get defense, which he likes. Possibly more speed. You know, get that protection to roll up higher. I try to take mods to infinity and beyond. <laughs> I recalibrate and recalibrate and recalibrate and recalibrate. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I work on mods so much. All right. On the diamonds, you've got flat defense, flat offense, protection percentage, speed. I think you could get away from this one. Because he's a damage dealer, try to look for something with offense percentage, protection percentage, and speed. That would be end game if you can get... You know, uh, I think that's good. Shoot for speed, offense percentage, and protection percentage. That would be great. Very hard to shoot for four things. All right, in the circle, you got protection maxed out. Very nice. You got, see, no offense percentage either. You got flat offense, but you have two mods that don't have offense percentage. Protection's nice. Another 1741. It's got some good defense on there. Here you've got protection percentage, uh, almost 15% defense in the secondary. That's beautiful. It's got some offense. That's a good mod, man. Even though it only has six speed, infinity and beyond, Jet. Infinity and beyond, bro. That's a good one. All right, here, protection, offense, nice flat offense. This is another one, buddy. You can recalibrate and try to get more offense on that. So very nice. On the arrow. Protection. I'd, this is a great one, too. I would try to get more speed, more offense. So your gas still has a lot more potential. Good job, man. I always keep working on mods. But how you have a modded, it's probably just good enough defensive chess piece. All right. Back to his list. He says that his favorite tunes are Lord Vader, of course. Awesome. I don't have Lord Vader. So, Jet, you got some good game knowledge. Teach me something in the comment section. Uh, of course he needs four speed. I always see him four speed. But can he have something different? Ooh, that creepy music. I love it. I love Halloween, guys. I have the It costume. Um, you know, I love Star Wars. I don't dress for Star Wars. I dress as It scary things. All right, let's take a look at his, uh, his stats real quick. So anyone, if you're watching this part, you got Lord Vader, what can I do to make him disgusting? And I'll do it. All right, take a look at the health protection. Ooh, it's a nasty pool. 300,000? 300, 300, yeah. 300,000, that's disgusting. Speed, 554. Potency. Damage, right at that 11,000. Ones that I face, when they're like 12,000 damage and like that big health pool, it gets disgusting. Take a look at a couple of mods. Yeah, if you had some offense percentage in this one here, in the diamond, no offense percentage in the circle. Protection, no offense percentage in the secondary. I uh, work on mods so much to where critical damage on the triangle is great, but if it had offense percentage where that tenacity was, it does have the hell. I said, I don't know the perfect modding for Lord Vader. I just don't have him yet, but I'm assuming, you know, mod him like majority of Vaders. I'm very specific with the mods that I buy. If they don't have certain secondaries, I don't even purchase them. All right, so perfect job, man. R9, it's where Lord Vader should be, R9. Good job, man. All right, then he says, needs help with first order. So you guys know, um, if I don't have it, I can't tell you the best way to mod it, but I do face it on defense. And I'll tell you what not to do when they're on defense. So of course, you got the first order type pilot, Omicron, great job. That just makes your hot trash prerequisites that you are putting on defense a little bit more viable. Um, be careful if your opponent has a Hondo or like a super high tenacity nest. I have been able to duo um, first order prerequisites on defense. So if you're putting, if you're gonna put SLKR on defense, make sure your opponent does not have a great JKR JKL squad to stop that counter. I'll just tell. I look at Hux first. I didn't even, you know, I don't even look at SLKR. Get his base speed to 330. If you get him to 330 base speed. And then his tenacity, no less than 175%, shoot for as high as you possibly can, it stops that counter. Because his first turn, he loses it because he gets stunned by JKL. And then most Jedi Knight Revens do not get over 320, 330 speed. So he'll take his second turn before JKR takes his second turn. Because if JKR does before him, he'll call JKL and General Hux would be one-shotted. So 330 speed, 
No less than 175% tenacity to not be ability blocked by Old Ben or Bass LeSean. If he passes turn meter to SLKR, your chances of winning that battle go up very high. So to me, Hux is the most important. I'd make my Hux nasty. But then of course, I don't think I would put, I probably would put them on defense just to see if they get hold. I don't know, I don't know. But if you're putting them on defense. All right, let's keep going. And this needs help with a CLS squad. So we'll get through his questions first. So go to let's go to CLS. Now you guys all have a CLS squad. So put something down in that comment section. How do you mod your CLS squad? So Jet14, my good buddy, it comes down to, of course, what you're doing with them. You know, that's why I stopped doing roster views. You know, I just too much criticizing. Everyone's doing criticizing. So to me, just what are you using them for? Offense or for defense? The higher you climb, you're in a rhodium, you probably can afford to save them for offense. But in Kyber, it's hard. We only have two GLs. You barely have Executor. To even stay in Kyber like I do, you have to put everything on defense. Everything you've built up is going on defense to even give you a chance. If not, you're just going to get full cleared. So mine go on defense. So I can only tell you about them for defense. So to me, the Chewies have to have full tenacity builds. All tenacity. You have the health set. That's not going to help because he doesn't have enough, enough tenacity. He's got 100%. To me, if tenacity is not above like 180% with all the potency of, all the potency tunes have nowadays, you, you're going to get a ability blocked. You know, ability blocked for the whole game. You know, I feel like he's, mine was just stunned for the whole game. So very high tenacity, but of course, when you're doing all tenacity builds, you've got to have tenacity percentage, offense percentage, and speed is the only thing you're looking for because he does do a lot of damage. Okay, just looking at some of the mods. Yeah, on the triangle, I highly recommend critical damage, offense percentage in the secondary, speed and tenacity is how you want to build them. It shows you Chewbacca needs some work. To me, all tenacity builds. But make sure you're looking for the offense percentage, tenacity, and speed in the secondaries. Chupio, of course, the perfect way to mod him, you have it. Four offense, two tenacity. But I have more tenacity or um, more offense than people do with four offense when I have all tenacity. I hope I said that right. All right, so here you've got 216 speed. I want him a lot faster. Tenacity, 93%. Not, to me, I said, I, I gotta have them super high. It's probably why my CLS squad gets so many holes because they can't be debuffed. I like both of the Chewie's tenacity way over 180% with all the built-in. Damage, 4,000. You're still working on him. He's not even relict. Um, same thing on the triangle. Critical damage because they crit all the time. You can get 5.88% offense in the secondary. Critical damage primaries, offense percentage in the secondary, speed and tenacity is what you're looking for. My Chewy does like 9,000 damage with all tenacity mods, and he, and he does not get debuff. He's way over 175% tenacity. That's what I think makes them deadly on defense because they can't be debuffed, they can't be ability blocked, they can't be stunned, they're assisting all the time. Chupio assists when anyone uses any ability. So you want the most damage you can't possibly can on Chupio. C3PO, I mod them totally different than what anyone would probably say. I don't even use a potency secondary. Like I said, depends, offense or defense, C3PO. I run four speed, two tenacity, super high tenacity. My C3PO also does, all my rebels are over like 180% tenacity. He's like Wat Tambor. He can't be debuffed, can't be stunned, ability blocked. He's constantly assisting. If you're resisting, it turns into turn meter. So with my speed on C3, I have him at 300 with the built-in from his kit. So potency, I depends on offense or defense. I don't want that. I want that switched on defense. Tenacity, high as you can get it. Like I said, mine are over 175%. Potency, I want it as low as I possibly can because I believe he gets 10 or 20% from his kit. I, I don't want him to land any debuffs because on defense, it turns into turn meter. It keeps your CLS squad. You're just like, oh my God, why is the CLS squad just going crazy? Because of C3PO as well. Fat, get him super fast. He's, he's being resisted. 
But on offense, of course, because you can control the battle, you want more potency. But my team's a defensive uh, chess piece. You know, before all these other teams got added, my CLS squad was also hold the line. All right, so that's them. And then, of course, Han Solo, you know, he has guard from Chewbacca. So, of course, you want... Oh, that's too much crit chance. Way too much. Well, of course, he's not even relic yet. When he's relic, you don't need the crit chance. Yeah. Okay, so you want to shoot for either four offense or four critical damage. It's very hard to put offense mods on so many people. But you want four crit damage or four offense. Two health. Or two of something else that you want uh, more stats on. Uh, basically, whatever you can get better stats on in the secondaries, I would filter for. Like four critical damage, you know... Hit on like hell, tenacity, you know, put them all and see what have the best secondaries. Same thing for triangle, you want critical damage with offense percentage, speed in the secondary. Um, on the cross, you want offense percentage maxed out, maxed out on the square. Try to get offense in the uh, arrow. He's your damage dealer. Like I said, he does a lot of damage. And then. If you face CLS versus CLS, the faster Han shoots first. Mine's like 280, yours is 206. So you'll work on them. They are a great squad, Jet. I'm telling you, amazing, amazing squad. If you have them on offense, they would chew through a Mara Jade squad. Chew through them easily. But you got to have massive amounts of damage on them, lots of tenacity. But see, that's how I do them for defense. All right. So last but not least, CLS. This is an amazing tune. Also depends on how you're using them. Offense, defense. So for defense, you have them modded perfectly. Four offense, two tenacity. Of course, like on the tenacity cross, you want to shoot for, it's got to be tenacity maxed out. It's got to be. He needs that tenacity. But in the secondary, he's a damage dealer. You want offense percentage. Speed, for sure. Those are two things you want for sure on the cross. Speed, offense percentage. And of course, if you can get defense, survivability is good. Potency, like I said, for defense, you don't have to. Like I said, but to me, turn meter. I want the resisting. I want the turn meter. That's what makes them nasty on defense. Because, you know, CG, uh, the computer, they're dodos on defense. He uses call to action way too soon. Stats-wise, health protection should be you know in that very close to 50,000 range. Between 40, 45 to like 55,000 of each is pretty typical. Speed 240, not too bad, you know, but you definitely, you know, with so many fast tunes out there, mine's 315 speed, uh, so many tunes need to be faster than CLS, so 240, not too bad, but of course, you're going to work on it and get it higher. Potency, ooh, I have never seen a potency at 1%, okay, that's fantastic, that's a lot of resisting, I think he gets 40% from his kit, but that's a lot of resisting, good job. All right, Tenacity starting off at 187%, not too bad. I like that. So when you start off the battle, he can't be debuffed. Um, so I do like his Tenacity starting off very high, very nice. Mine's at 217. Damage, like I said, you'll work on it. So modding-wise, like on you know anyone you want to do damage in the diamond, you want offense percentage and speed in the secondary to me are a must. For a CLS, I'd kind of take whatever the third and the fourth are. If you can get Tenacity fantastic if it's on offense you know instead of tenacity you probably want potency because you can control the battle on the circle i don't care about the primary to me it's the secondary what you can get better secondaries out of you only got nine speed the defense is nice the tenacity is nice but there's no offense percentage and the square of course max it out look for great secondaries tenacity speed Triangles, same thing. You have a lot of offensive triangles. You want critical damage. Offense percentage, speed, tenacity. Arrow, it's got the offense percentage. It's got health protection, very nice. If it had tenacity, this is, a, this is a pretty good one. You could leave the arrow, just I would work on it, roll it more for the more offense. All right, so CLS is a great squad. You know, definitely, definitely work on them, Jet. This is definitely a team you do need to get relic. They are amazing. I see that Rexy boy. <laughs> All right. So I hope that was super helpful for you for Jet. You know, I did do a video on how to mod CLS. Make sure you check that video as well.
right of course question number four is what's your favorite tune he did say it was lord vader we already saw lord vader uh jedi master kenobi you look at jedi master kenobi four speed two health very nice Good job with that held. 124,000. Very nice speed. There's like two. No, I think mine's like 565. Okay, not bad on the speed. Okay, tenacity, bump posy, doesn't really matter. Uh, damage. Okay. So just because I face a lot of Jabba squads, Jet, you know, if you want to know what the three things you shoot for, damage, speed, health. Because you're going to face nasty Jabba squads. I. R8 for sure. I might even R9 mine because there's so many nasty Java squads. All right, let's look at. Uh, okay, we looked at gas. Then I also ask, you know, what non galactic legend counter do you have to galactic legends? That to me is super important in your roster. Something you should highly focus on. So he says he uses consistently gas to uh, beat Ray. Like I said. Gas is a defensive chess piece when you get the Kyber. You've got to have great defensive teams, and Gas is one of them because it pulls a great squad. Sometimes pulls a Galactic Legend. So that might go away. I'm not sure. If you can use Gas and Kyber with only two GLs, ooh, definitely let me know, Jet. And then he says he does, um, let's see here, Cat with Padme. Since he splits JMK to solo Treya or C, that won't happen anymore in Kyber. JMK is used for J for Jabba. Jabba is always on defense. Ah ha always. Okay, so that won't be split. But good job, man. I never knew that. JMK to solo Treya? Smart minds. Good job, Jet. Or C, okay. C you don't see on defense anymore. If you do, uh, Wampa or General Grievous will beat that easily. Says he uses Padme versus weaker JMK Cat and SLKR. What? Okay, so he just uses Padme versus weaker JMK and Cat and SLKR squads. Okay. Okay. So that's cool. Um, like I said, Padme to me belongs with Gidme. Um, you won't see weaker JMK and SLKR squads in Kyber. People are smart. They don't put SLKR on defense anymore. Jedi Master Kenobis, they are on defense and they are nah. Ha hasty <laughs> in high levels of Kyber, so you probably won't be using that anymore. But it's good to hear that. You know, I love to hear people talk about that. That's smart, man. That's good game knowledge to be able to do that. Good job, good job, Jet. All right. Question number five is, you know, um, what do you have modded really well? I want to know these things. I like to compare my tunes to yours. Like my gas is better than yours, Jet. I want to know these things. So he said that he doesn't really have any perfect modded tunes. That hurts my heart, Jet. I love mods. I have a very high mod quality. That hurts me, Jet. That hurts me. Since he wants, he thinks he has great mod. Our gas, your gas was well modded. A couple of tweaks and works with the mods. He could be deadly. Uh, this is his first big farm. That's a huge Sith bump. I remember that, Jet. That was nasty. And he says, uh, Echo, Cat, and Maul. Okay. Okay, I see Echo's your first fastest tune. Great job, Jet. Let's take a look. 358. Fantastic. Uh, Jet, you got to slow him down. I hear if you get him to 349, he's even deadlier. <laughs> Just because I built my teams to outspeed Echo, eight of my non-GLs are at 350 speed or more. So slow him down, Jet. He's too fast, bro. 358. Good job. This is one of the first tunes that I look at when I look at someone's roster is where is Echo? That's Max Banner's. Kitty cat, how fast is your kitty cat? 335, not too bad. So same thing, my brain goes into lockdown mode. What I face, my experience in Grand Arena, you want more health, no less than 85,000. You want more speed. Boosh for Java, she, the slow ones are 335. You want her no less than like 355, three, high 350 range, 360, lot of health, lots of speed. Lots of damage. That damage needs to be worked on. Um, you're only R5. Definitely R7. Helps out your guild as well. You can do go longer in the guild events. So damage, 75, no less than 7,500. Got to work on it through your secondaries, your diamonds, your circles, your triangles, um, your crosses, because you're going to put a lot of health there as well. Health on the circle, health on the cross. 
critical damage. Look at the secondary. This is a fantastic one. Critical damage, speed, offense, flat health, protection, to infinity, infinity and beyond, bro. Infinity and beyond. And beyond. Good job with Cat, man. All right. And then, uh, see, top three are the tunes that need to be at the top of the roster. Good job, Jet. I see you, bro. All right. Ah, oh, whoo. Okay, a big drop down on your speed. Admiral Pete's only 319. I thought it was going to be over 350. So you do have two non GLs in the 350 club. So great job there. But 319. Whoo, yes. Now I know your troopers cannot beat one of my defensive teams. I like him fast. You know, with the uh, Omer, uh, with this 20 boost, you're at 339. A lot of my teams will still go before your Admiral Piat does. Admiral Piat, super fast. But of course, as you progress in your roster climb and your Grand Arena climb, you'll make tunes faster. All right. Rexy boy, top four. Good job. You got Rex at 315. Not too bad. You know, a lot of gas, gas, mirror matches. Everyone mods their gas squad. Well, usually everyone mods them very well. You can come down to house whose Rex goes first. So good job there. Mine goes first. Jet. <laughs> Mine goes first, bro. Maul. I used to do a uh, duo Maul with uh, Kira Lead in my nest, but not like ones like this. Ah, I can't stand them, bro. Can't stand them. Can't stand ya. <laughs> All right, 315 speed Maul. Very nice, man. I can't stand him. Ah, that triple thing that he does, that seething rage. This bastard. Turn around. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I can't stand Maul on defense. All right. General Knight Revenue to round out your squads. Good job, man. General Revenue, very good. 313 speed, very nice. All right, tunes are slowing down. But like I said, man, just keep working on your tunes. Zam Wessel Omicron is great for, for bounty hunters. Just keep working on your speedy tunes. Like I said, speed is the way of the game. You know, that's what also helps me in my Grand Arena climb is my speed. And now, of course, we'll get out of speed. We will look at your Datacrons. Datacrons need work. So by the end of the next conquest jet, I want to see you need to send me a screenshot of my Discord. I want to be I want to I want to elevate you. I want to I want to make you work on the Datacrons. Okay, so I want to see double that. I want to see like a, some maxed out Datacrons. I have probably four times more Datacrons than you do and I only have lot, about 500 more galactic power. Datacrons are huge importance to your roster. There's not enough time to build enough galactic legends. It's we're always severely undermatched, but what we can do is build data crons. Every single team that I put on defense has a nasty data cron, so the counter you usually have for those teams would probably not work. I get so many holds. The person that I face, I'll have to do another show on it, but data crons definitely. All right, number six, you said, I want to know like how screwed up is the GAC in your level. He says, honestly, he doesn't even know how he's in a Rhodium 3. Says he might drop down at the time of the review. Says he faced people with 6 to 7 GLs or 3 GLs uh, with 2 great capital ships and amazing mods. 20 plus 300 speed tunes. And he says he still somehow beats them with approximately 10 100 speed tunes, 2 GLs, and no great capital ships. My man, my brother, so I'm talking about. We both enjoy beating people with double what we have. Sometimes they don't attack. You can tell that the, they're just sandbagging, but I want to face true peers. I'm with you. I'm with you, Jet. Great job, man. I do the same thing, and I enjoy it. I want to do what the F I want to do in the game and beat people with double to triple. All right, guys. So last thing he says is he likes to pad me Cat, GK, Ahsoka, and Shock T versus JMK Cat, the weaker ones. And then... He says, because of all the courage, I definitely understand that, definitely. He says, gas versus ray is pretty easy as long as you time the lightsaber throw. I mean, I used to do that once back in the day, like two years ago. But now, gas is defensive chess piece. Have not used one offense for years. <laughs> all right, guys. So last question he says is, what advice would you tell someone entering your level? i love to know that. He says he strongly um, tells you to build strong teams. He says, when he first entered Kyber. Okay, that's good to know. Just upgraded teams that have enough, but as he moved with his Galactic Legend journeys and got more characters to Relic, he had a bunch of Gear 11 teams. And then he invested in their Zetas, and he ended up not using them. So basically, he only has 10 great teams, and the rest are mediocre. 
instead of focusing on making the better mediocre teams great. Well said. He said also, yeah, he says it right here, don't capitalize. Ignore datacrons. They can really elevate your teams. You're the man. Great, great advice. Huge Sith bump. All right. Quick little just run through your roster. We're at 30. I just can't make these videos less than 30 minutes. I enjoy talking about people's rosters. So good job with your two GLs. You got Skywalker. Show me Darth Vader. You know I got to look at what's Vader. Where's your Vader at, Jet? Put something in the comment section. 276 speed is great. Good job with that speed mods. Maybe a little bit higher with speed mods, but he's lacking critical damage. He's highly lacking potency. And damage is a little bit low for speed mods. You know, I have Dr. Afra. I would highly recommend you get Dr. Afra. So he's also asking, like, what you should go for. You know, don't also forget about teams like Star Killer. Uh, don't forget about teams like uh, Dr. Afra, Kyle Kestis. These are great teams to build as well. Um, what I would highly recommend is just also focus on um, non GL counters to Galactic Legends. Jet, make sure you're focused on it as well. So, last but not least, anything that I want to just take a look at real quick. Savage Omicron. CLS hurts my eyes. Okay. Good job with the bad batch, man. For Lord Vader, great job. Lord Vader has great prerequisites. Let's look at your Wampy. Wampy. He's a little baby Wampy. All right, so this right here is taking out all General Groove's teams. 70,000 health, speed, it could be terrible, perfect. Tenacity, 151%. You don't need that much tenacity for General Grievous, but you want to move him on to Star Killer. You know, especially um, 3v3, easy. You can solo it. Uh, not solo, but um, auto it. You know, I can beat it sometimes in 5v5, depending on who the fourth and the fifth supporting tune are. If there's JTR, it doesn't work, but usually it's not. You want a lot of speed, no less than 250 speed. If not, Mara Jade will double you up. She'll take two turns before your Womp even takes one. And with the assisting with Starkiller and uh, like Palpatine, he'll die. There's no way he'll survive that. You won't be able to get to Icebreaker. Trust me, bro. I've done it so many times. If you move your Wampa on, health, it's actually pretty good. No less than 80,000. Only R3, dude. If he was R5, R7, I want to see how much health he can get. With speed, 250. Starting tenacity with 100%, you should not be less than 200%. Just because Mara Jade's potency can get pretty high, you don't want to be stunned. The tenacity down is unavoidable, but you don't want to be stunned. All right, get you a Wampa. Anything else? Dartrea, Omicron, definitely work on it. Savage, you know, you got to work on your relic levels. Like I said, I'm not talking about that anymore you know just enjoying what you've built up respecting the grind it's kind of about it all right guys i hope you enjoyed these questions with jet 14 i think you've done a huge progression dude huge progression in two years let's just respect that you guys get jet 14 a huge sith bump in the comment section thank you so much for playing the game jet 14 i appreciate that man i love anyone who plays game just as much as i do all right, Jet, before we get out of here, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So if you guys watched the last show about the no roster reviews, I showed my opponent. We had a good chat. He was telling me how good my roster is. for. Like I said, he only he has, show you guys again. He had every single Galactic Legend, triple my fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He only put three GLs on defense, and he still struggled with my roster. He has triple what I have. Triple. So I'm going to show you what you have to prepare for, Jet. So we want to see here. So he could not even full clear with double what I had. Up here, he was messaging me the whole time. He was attacking like, dude, you're just whooping my butt. Like, uh, He didn't tell me what to use. I can't wait to see on SWGH.GG, but... Two times for gas. He's a defensive chess piece. If he used Sith Eternal, it probably failed. I have seen on SWGH.GG so many Sith Eternals failing to my gas squad because of the Datacron. This team, I've been wanting to see what it does. I took this from Zareth for Veil. Shock T, Echo, and Tech. Try that. Try that, Jet. It's nasty. Three holds. He says that was pissing him off. I can't wait to see what he used. And then Tuskins, I face it, it's deadly. They keep reviving, you have to use an AOE to destroy them. 
Uh, it's terrible. Disgusting squad. Three holds. Having a super fast Jedi Anakin with Cam, with Qui-Gon Jinn, with a nasty Datacron, always gets to be no less than two holds. Always. And then he used a Galactic Legend for this. I know he did. Uh, Treya, Scion, and Savage. Remember, he has five GLs for offense. My fleet's hot trash. I don't even see it. I just set the three best three and forget about it. And how I usually win is I clear the bottom and like one team up top. My whole progression through Grand Arena. So on the bottom, he attempted CLS. This is nasty with this defensive Datacron. Nasty. Nasty squad. One hold. And then Rolo is a disgusting squad. Another one team. Another GL for Jedi Master Kenobi. Another squad here. So he used 11 teams up top. Anyone, you just said you only have 10 great teams. Anyone that's in our true peer range, we only have 10 or 11 teams for offense. This guy used 11 up top, 12, 13, 14, 15 teams. He says he was pissed off and he quit. He said he was done. But you can't have enough teams for offense and you can't beat three GLs with only two GLs if your opponent puts them in good places. So if I would have kept Jedi Master Kenobi from down here in the three, maybe he could have got through it, maybe not, but I would have been able to take out. So I, I beat him more efficiently. I don't fail on any battles, except for this one here, of course. I've never faced Tuscans. he was nasty. I used Vader, easily dropped the first two, and then they kept reviving, not enough AOE power, but then I cleaned it up with General Grievous. I efficiently get through teams. This I use Dr. Aphra. I use Sith Eternal to beat this, to beat Jedi Master Kenobi. He had Ewoks. When people have so many GLs, they put trash on defense. Then he has Qui-Gon Jinn I beat with Jedi Knight Revan easily. So I efficiently beat my opponent by knowing counters, having the proper offense. And then in the back wall is where he put another Galactic Legend. If he didn't put this G on the back wall, I would have beat him. I would have beat him. I just stopped. There's no way I could beat him. If I could have, I tried um, Imperial Troopers with the new Datacron. It didn't work. But I efficiently win battles easier with my opponents. All right, Jed, I hope that was a little helpful for you. I said, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for playing. If you guys enjoyed this show, if you want to see more like this, if you want to be on the show, definitely get on my Discord. I love to read the questions people answer. Love to look through people's rosters. All right, guys, keep on sipping. Until next time, Darth Kimchi signing out.